Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer, where we are starting a new series entitled Union GPS Introduction. So whether we are aware of it or not, we really all are seeking God who makes his home in our hearts at baptism. Most of us look for him in the world, but do not find him there. St. Teresa of Avila has mapped out the GPS, so to speak, to union of the soul with God. Man's choice caused him to fall from God's grace and to be cast out from the Garden of Eden. The good news is that God's law is written on man's heart, as stated in Romans 2, and that as St. Augustine tells us in his confessions, we were made by God for God, and until the heart of man rests in God, it remains restless. Seeking to quiet the restless heart, Westerners often turned to Eastern thought, unaware that the Catholic Church offers the path to union with God. The Carmel offers a way of prayer practiced two hours daily by the Carmelite friars and the Carmelite nuns. It's a direct path to the heart. It's a direct path to union with God. Carmel is defined by the belief that God lives in the heart and that we can reach him there through faith, hope, and charity. These are the theological virtues that we receive at baptism. A relationship results satisfying a person's thirst to be loved by God. And we, in exchange, offer God our availability. It's a leap into the invisible. Now, the goal of spiritual life, as summarized by St. Paul, is the following. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me, as stated in Galatians 2. For many, though, mystical life is reduced to unnecessary, extraordinary phenomenon. In reality, It is the fulfillment of baptismal graces. It's an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. In the heart of the one believing in the kingdom, the kingdom of God that is within. For Teresa of Avila, all the baptized are invited to a mystical life for which interior prayer is the vital nourishment. This life is not reserved for just a few elite souls. So let's listen now to St. Augustine as he speaks to us after his conversion. Late have I loved you Beauty, so old and so new, late have I loved you. And see, you were within, and I was in the external world, and I sought you there, and in my unlovely state, I plunged into those lovely created things which you made. You were with me, and I was not with you. 
The lovely things of the world kept me far from you. Though if they did not have their existence in you, they had no existence at all. You called and cried out loud and shattered my deafness. You were radiant and resplendent. You put to flight my blindness. You were fragrant. And I drew my breath and now pant after you. I tasted you and I feel but hunger and thirst for you. You touched me and I am set on fire to attain the peace which is yours. St. Augustine of Hippo Confessions To be continued. Amen. Thank you for listening. This is the beginning of a new series entitled The Union GPS. And I hope this will bless you and yours. And thank you for following along. Amen.